Hello, how you doing? My name is Dara and welcome to Dev Cloud and DevOps Ask Me Anything. I got an interesting question and it says, in what areas or at what level does one require coding in DevOps? That's a very good question and thank you for asking. Now, even though in my role as a DevOps engineer from day to day, I do not write application code. It's like I'm writing C Sharp or JavaScript or uh, Python from day to day. Uh, mostly, I bask myself in PowerShell and YAML from day to day. Uh, but one thing to note is an understanding of coding will help me debug applications faster, know how to deploy the application better, and understand essentially how the application works. Because of course, I see application code from day to day also, and I understand them. And it gives me a little bit of insight into what the developers are expecting the application to do when the application gets deployed to whatever infrastructure we're deploying such applications to. Now, even though I do not write code from day to day, sometimes I will need to write tools. I'll need to develop tools to manage my own systems or to make some other people's life easier. It will fall on the DevOps role in that organization. But of course, everything is dependent on the organizational process. So maybe uh, you come up with the spec and requirements and developers go write the code or you write the code and the developer peer reviews them for you. So where coding comes in, of course, you write a lot of scripts. So I'll probably say that is a form of coding because of course, it's a form of programming language in its own way. Okay, so scripting is programming, it's coding essentially. So when you're writing scripts and developing scripts, you need to understand the coding process. Software development lifecycle is essential in that place. Uh, fundamentals of programming, if LCs, loops, all those things are very essential in that way. But of course, you might not be required to write code from day to day. That is one thing in DevOps. But when you're developing your own tools, when you're developing... um or when you're contributing to tools that make up your DevOps stack, for example, let's say you want to make a contribution to Kubernetes or the contribution to Docker, you would be required to write probably Golang, okay? So coding will come in in that way. So that is one of the ways coding will come into DevOps. If you're writing tools, if you're developing the, the tools essentially, but of course, if you're not developing the tools, but you're just working on automating deployments and processes, coding would most likely not come in, except, except you're using C Sharp or Java to automate deployment of application codes to the cloud, okay? Which is also very possible, okay? Because all these clouds have SDKs in the various programming languages for their platforms. But of course, from day to day, coding doesn't essentially come in, but I write code sometimes, probably just... 2% of the time, okay, uh, when I'm writing automation tools for myself, either to make my own personal work better in my organization as part of a team, or helping developers debug code and application, and I know, yes, I can quickly fix this, so I fix this, of course, with the approval of the engineering lead, uh, put a fix, raise a PR, and then the process gets completed in that way. And of course, generally from day to day, I bask myself in PowerShell and YAML, which is a form of scripting also. And I can promise you, it sometimes is not as easy as it seems in the, you know, just say we are not programmers, but of course, we write code that deploys other people's code, which is a much more complex form of work to do. The, the PowerShell script will look simple when you look at it, but of course, when it comes to writing the PowerShell script itself, it's not as easy as it looks. So, of course, coding will come in once in a while, but not every day for a DevOps engineer. But of course, if you're the DevOps engineer that writes tools or that writes application uh, that helps automate processes or you're doing responsible writing the infrastructure of your organization, you will definitely write code from day to day. But of course, maybe not so much as engineers do. You know, people who write JavaScript every day, I salute those people who write, who write C Sharp every day, I salute them. But as a DevOps engineer, uh, at least from my experience, I don't get to write code every day and I don't think you will also. So um, don't fret. If you are not so deep in any programming language, but of course you want to own your skills in scripting. You want to script anything out of anything. Okay. You want to be able to script your way out of anything. That is one thing I would re highly recommend for you to do. And of course, please understand at least one programming language to a very good intermediate ish level because it helps you 
in your thinking process it helps you in your problem solving process and actually figuring things out and i hope this has helped you if it has remember to give it a thumbs up and of course if you have further questions please put it in the comment section and of course maybe also in the link uh showing your screen right now for uh the forms i put out there where i call it the questions in a more uh nice format and of course till i come your way again with another video on dev cloud and devils ask me anything you know what i say stay safe and goodbye